The summer of 64 was Mississippi Freedom Summer. The air was crackling, really, with these ideas. At the end of the summer, I drove out to Berkeley. Right at the entrance to the university, along Bancroft Avenue, there were all of these tables from all these different political and some social organizations. And the very next day, the dean of students says, all those tables have to, have to go. The idea that the university could come out with regulations prohibiting civil rights activity when people were dying in the South. So we were outraged. Some of the organizations that had been affected by this set up a picket line. Our civil rights people, Goldwater Republicans, Ayn Rand objectivists. It had put democracy above ideology. We organized petitions. We went as supplicants. We sent delegates to talk to, to uh, administrators, to deans, to the chancellors. We were building this step by step. It wasn't like, oh, they won't let us. Well, now we're going to tear down the university. They tried to arrest uh, a former graduate student who was sitting at a table in front of Sproul Hall. And, uh, they brought a police car on campus. And we all ran down there and sat around the car, and the car became uh, the dais atop of which people then addressed the crowd. Anybody could get up there who wanted to talk, and people got up to support the action, people got up to argue against the action, to support civil disobedience, to argue that we should be obeying the law. It was extremely emotional, <laughs> what can I say? It committed you. We had the big rally on December 4th, and Mario spoke, and Joan Baez had come, the folk singer had come and was sang, and to her singing and playing, we all marched in uh, to Sproul Hall. And uh, that began the sitting that went, sit in that went all night. One of the things that we had been considering was whether or not we were going to call us a strike. But as soon as the administration called in the police and began dragging students out of, you know, in the middle of the night, we all just went on strike. And it was enormously effective. At that point, we had morally won. And then a couple of days later, the faculty voted to support totally the FSM position that the university could not limit uh, the content, make no regulations restricting the content of speech or advocacy, and at that point, we had won. It opened up our minds to possi the possibilities, the possibilities that you could organize. You could get, pull people together around a cause, and, you know, you enter this whole period of all the different liberation movements and all of the, um, and in that sense, I think it had a terrific legacy.